The, I mean, I just spent a year and a half in a relationship that didn't that fizzled, fizzled or whatever. So, um, and I'm not sure if you told me why it fizzled. Uh, well, I don't know if you're gonna like my answer to that. Uh, so it was two virtues. Sorry, go ahead. Funny, because I'm actually having a very good conversation with you and learning a lot, which I thought I would. But he he started listening to your show and he totally changed. His personality changed. And then he basically decided he couldn't have a family with me because I didn't agree with all his like I agree with some of the stuff that you talk about, but I'm a very like. I'm not a believer in much of anything that I don't see proof of. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a good science, right? So I'm not, like, gung-ho the way he is about all of your stuff. And so basically he was like, well, if we can't teach our kids that, you know, the state is evil and wrong, then we can't have kids together. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to ever teach my children in a dogmatic way, whether it's that the state is good or bad. I want to tell them evidence and like eventually when they're old enough, they would make decide what they believe. Like that's how I want to raise kids. But he wanted to me, the impression was that he wanted to basically, I mean, I don't really know. I don't watch as much of your stuff as he has, but um, I didn't like the way he was talking about raising a family. And then he started to get really mean to me. Like he insulted my intelligence five or six times, which I know is just his self-esteem Cause wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's so much in what you're saying here. So you've insulted your intelligence at least six times that I could remember in this call alone. Yeah, in my decision making, I, I will. No, no, you insulted your intelligence six times at least. You called yourself dumb. W- with love, I am dumb. I know, or I call myself dumb about love. I know that. I, I. I'm sorry. Is the word dumb not an insult to someone's intelligence? I guess when it comes to, I guess for some reason I've normalized this idea that it's okay to be dumb about love because everyone is. I don't, maybe that's why I keep saying that and not, it doesn't. All right. Okay. So you can insult your intelligence, but he can't, right? I mean, who taught him to insult your intelligence? I bet my guess is, I don't know the guy, but my guess is that you invited him into that arena by constantly insulting your own intelligence. I just sort of wanted to point that out. I don't think I. The other thing is, do, do you think that. I mean, what do you think it's like to be on the receiving end of what you're saying, just out of curiosity? Receiving end of what I'm saying um, as you or as him? Yeah, as me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it would bother me. What would bother you? Um, I don't know. Like, it would maybe feel like I would be felt, feel defensive or something. I don't know. Defensive about what? Um... Like that, well, I mean, obviously things weren't going to work out one way or the other. So your show, him, him getting into your show was just actually good that it came sooner than later. If that was going to be the downfall, I don't know. Sorry. my. So the downfall was my show. So it's not love. It's not insomnia. It's not grad school. It's not that you're dumb. It's my show now that was the reason your last no, relationship failed. We weren't right for each other in the end, and I recognize that now, but the thing that precipitated us realizing that was the show. Does that make sense? Sorry, can you say that again? We, were, we weren't right for each other in the end. We weren't right for each other from the beginning, but the thing that made us face that fact was the show. Does that make sense? Not at all. I mean, y- you made a decision with him and then he ended the relationship saying that you weren't right for each other takes your decision completely out of the table completely off the table like you didn't make any decisions you just didn't fit together like your two incompatible jigsaw puzzles but you made decisions stephanie and that ended the relationship this is what i'm trying to get across to you what decision i'm okay first of all i hope that you didn't insult him as much as you insulted me Oh, I'm sorry. Because if you did, I can see that it was probably your insults towards him that ended the relationship. I'm not trying to insult you. What, what felt? I know you're not. I absolutely know you're not. That's why I'm not insulted. But what you're saying is highly insulting. I know you're not trying to insult me. I get that. I get that you don't even know how insulting it is. 
Because, and I'll just give you one example. It, it doesn't, right? You said, I'm just not that gung-ho on your philosophy. Oh, I'm so, I, I respect you a lot. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> I mean, you don't. I'm not that gung-ho on your philosophy. No, no. I... Now, listen, if, if you were at a physics conference and you presented a laborious physics theory that you'd worked on for approximately 30,000 hours and 30 years, and someone who'd never studied physics came up and said, well, I'm just not that gung-ho on your physics. Someone would probably say that. And that's something that would happen. And what would you think? <laughs> you have to learn to have a really thick skin as a physicist because there's like, I've seen fighting, like yelling after talks. Like, No, I get that. I get that. But if somebody came up and said, I'm just not that gung-ho on your physics, what would be so insulting about that? The first is the idea that physics is some sort of cheerleading squad, like you've got to be enthusiastic and gung-ho, like it's just some fucking sports team you're supposed to cheer, and you're either into it or you're not. That's not what physics is. Physics is a very rigorous discipline of rational theories and empirical evidence, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not gung-ho, it's not a matter of enthusiasm, and it's not your physics, it's either good physics or it's bad physics. So my question is, you said, well, you don't agree with everything that I say. First of all, agreement has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with philosophy whatsoever. I don't want anyone to agree with me. Right? Why don't I want anyone to agree with me? Oh, you lost me. I have no idea. Because if they're agreeing with me, they're not doing philosophy. Philosophy is not... Let's agree with Steph or let's disagree with Steph. That's not philosophy. If I say to you, listen, Stephanie, two and two make four. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me or do you accept the proposition as valid? Uh, no, I, I see the truth in the statement. So you're not agreeing with me, right? Okay, so... And if, so, if I say two and two make four and someone says, well, I agree with Steph, <laughs> then they're not doing math, right? Yeah. So if I had worded it like, I don't know, something like that I, to me, it's hard to, like, I don't know. It's like, I see a lot of the arguments and I agree with a lot of them. And God, I mean, just the thought of like, oh, if we got rid of the state today and war and. Oh, no, no, no. Can you stop? Stop. You're just, you're way out of your depth. Look, yeah. and I would be out of my depth if I was trying to talk to you about physics, right? Yeah. Okay, so grant me 30 years of working on philosophy. And I, I respect your mind. I, you know, I, I'm the one who said, don't call yourself dumb. I mean, oh, a shit, PhD shit. in physics is fantastic. What a great achievement. But you're way out of your depth when it comes to philosophy here at the moment. And that's fine. I mean, it's just recognize and accept that, right? That doesn't mean I'm right and you're wrong. It's just that you, you're floundering here really badly, right? Like, you don't know what yeah, to say, right? If I had said... Okay, so, I so, so, so the, the statement is... If your ex-boyfriend said that uh, if he could prove to you that the initiation of force is immoral and he could prove to you that the state relies on the initiation of force, then when he says the state is evil, he's correct. This is not a gung-ho thing. This is not a you just agreeing with yeah, Steph. Yeah, I agree. Now, I agree. if your boyfriend ex makes an argument that I've made and you point out a rational flaw in the argument – or at least there are mountains of counter evidence to the argument. And then he just rejects all of those out of hand. Well, Steph said something different. Therefore, whatever evidence there is against it, whatever you claim to have found, throwing it out because I just want to agree with Steph, then he doesn't understand philosophy at all. And he doesn't get this show <laughs> at all, right? Yeah. I mean, nobody graduates with a PhD in physics saying, I don't know what the answer is, but I'm going to pray to Zeus to find it, right? No. Anybody who says, I'm going to pray to Zeus to find it, doesn't understand physics, right? <laughs> or the scientific method, right? Yeah. So it's not a matter of enthusiasm or agreement or disagreement. It's a matter of rational proof with empirical evidence, just as it is in your discipline. 